Hello, and welcome to Mobility Now, a show presented by the Houston Galveston Area Council. I'm Shelley Whitworth, HGAC's manager in charge of clean air programs. The Houston Galveston Area Council offers resources for commuting to both workers and employers throughout the eight county region. As part of HGAC's planning activities, we contracted with the Texas A&M Transportation Institute to conduct a survey and learn more about commuters' travel options and preferences. My first guest today is Jonathan Brooks from the Texas A&M Transportation Institute. Jonathan was responsible for the Travel Options State Planning and Research Study. Jonathan, welcome to Mobility Now. Afternoon, Sean. Can you tell us why the experiences of commuters in our region is a topic of interest for the researchers at uh, TTI? Absolutely. Well, there are several reasons. The primary reason, really, I think, is in respect to congestion. The population of the region will continue to grow. Uh, currently, we're at about 6 million people. We'll be about 7 million by 2020. And that's just, that's just around the corner. We'll be at 8 million by 2028 and 9 million by approximately 2036. Uh, that's the total population, but a subset of those people are traveling to work practically every day. And so the purpose of this study and the reason that TTI is interested in the Houston region is that um, there's population change. There's also construction projects planned. Um, many Houston residents will be very aware that along US 290, there's a current construction uh, that impacts travel. Uh, there's also planned construction programmed for Interstate 45 North and US 59 South. So we wanted to understand the impact though of those projects and how we might adapt as a region. Throughout my career, I've tried or attempted to do many different surveys, and a lot of times it's very difficult to get mm -hmm. folks to respond to surveys, but that was not the case with this one. People, when we asked them what they thought about their commute trip to and from work, they were very eager to tell us what they thought. Can you describe to us how this survey uh, was conducted and who responded? Our survey was highly successful. We collected approximately 10,000 responses, about 8,500 are of those are usable responses, meaning they got far enough in the survey. That's an unprecedented response. Essentially, we found that success because of valuable partners like HJC, Houston Metro Management Districts, like the Energy Corridor, St. Thomas University worked with us, Harris County, City of Sugarland, the Woodlands. Those entities, we reached out in both an online and print format survey uh, via email, social media, and we asked people to take 15 minutes of their time, which is fairly significant um, investment. In fact, if you look at our response, people invested about 2,400 hours of their personal or work time. And uh, as a TTI researcher, I'm very aware of that and cognizant that that sort of time investment means that we have valuable data and a lot of uh, focus on our results. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had a wide distribution. Uh, we have responses from as far north as Conroe and as far south as Galveston. We have, we have responses from Katy across to Baytown and, and just all across the region. And so we're, we're very confident that uh, we have a wide uh, you know, sample of the region and can help uh, HJC and other organizations answer critical questions to improve mobility. We have a lot of options to get around in our region now because we've been having to work and deal with congestion for some time now. And we have folks that are dealing, uh, riding to work on the rail with the bus, with, you know, from transit. And it's not just in the metro area, but the outlying areas. We also have uh, folks that carpool and vanpool and telecommute. Can you tell us a little bit about folks' responses and how they got around and what they thought about it? Well, we were happy to find that our survey response, the sample, of our respondents indicated that um, very similar ratios of travel mode to work as compared to the U.S. Census. Uh, for example, the U.S. Census in 2012 for the Houston region noted that about 80% of travelers travel by driving alone. Um, the other 20%, about half carpool, 11%, uh, about 3% travel by transit, whether it's bus or light rail. And that's not just Houston Metro, that's all the providers in the region. Um, and then about 3% walk or bike. We found very similar ratios in our survey. Our survey though gives us more mm -hmm. because the census tells you the primary mode somebody uses. It doesn't necessarily tell us if they just rode a bus or if they walked, rode the bus, and then walked again. Because that impacts how people can travel. So our survey, we know that about 9% of 
of our respondents uh, telecommute at least one day a week. Often that's a Monday or a Friday. And that's why traffic is sometimes lighter on those days. Mm -hmm. Many people use multiple modes. Almost everybody who uses an alternative to driving alone also walks or bikes or takes transit in combination with something mm -hmm. else. While most drive alone, there are many that do not mm -hmm. and that take advantage of the opportunities that are there. What about employers? Uh, did they see the advantage for their employees? Some employers, uh, well, actually most employers, Shelley, were, did see value and did see a role as an employer in incentivizing how their employees travel. Often that was because they want to increase awareness of the options so that they can you know, hire somebody and know they can get to work consistently. Uh, many employers mark that the second most important reason why they like uh, commute alternatives is because it helps them retain employees once they've hired them. Uh, somebody's you know, home situation changes, uh, their vehicle availability changes, employers like to know they can still get to work because they have alternatives. We had a really good response rate and we were delighted to get this much information from folks that they were so eager to respond about their trips. Uh, thank you and when we come back we're going to be talking more about uh, other commute solutions that are available in the Houston Galveston eight county region so don't go away.